The answer to your casting problem? CMI Novacast Electromagnetic Immersion Pumps for Molten Aluminum. The Model PG300 delivers up to 10 pounds per second at 13 inches elevation. This pump draws metal from about 12 inches below the bath surface. The Model PG450 delivers up to 20 pounds per second or 100 inches elevation delivery. And its metal intake is about 16 inches below the bath surface. Both pumps are supplied with metal filtration systems to ensure delivery of metal with the highest possible quality. Thermostatically controlled heated launders deliver molten metal from the pump to the mold. Pump power is maintained between castings, keeping the launder full, thus preventing the creation of oxides that could find their way into a casting. The pump is great for use in the low-pressure green sand casting process. The pump and heated launder are immersed in a holding furnace and deliver metal to the bottom side of molds produced by a vertically parted green sand molding machine. In operation, the pump and launder move into contact with the mold, creating a seal. Pump power is increased in a controlled and highly repeatable manner to fill the casting as quickly as possible without exceeding the critical velocity. Once the casting is completely full, a shutoff device is actuated and pump power is reduced to bias. The pump and launder assembly then pull away from the mold, allowing the next one in line to move into pouring position, and the cycle repeats. All gating systems for gravity port molds are a compromise because they must be sized to limit the maximum metal flow rate to prevent casting defects caused by excessive velocity. They limit the flow to other parts of the casting to less than optimum, which can be a cause of misruns and other casting defects. To overcome this, the CMI Novacast pump fills the mold from the bottom, allowing much greater freedom in gating design. The pump power is varied throughout the cycle to fill every part of the mold as quickly as possible without ever exceeding the critical velocity. The results are increased casting quality, reduced scrap rates, and higher production rates. The equipment used in the pilot plant for the development of this process is shown here in operation. After the mold shutoff device is actuated, the pump is withdrawn, allowing the mold string to advance. The pump is then aligned with the mold and moves in to seal against the metal entry port on the mold. Pump power is increased in an accurately controlled manner to properly fill the mold. When the mold is full, the shutoff device locks the metal in the mold while the pump power is reduced to bias. The pump is then withdrawn from the mold and the next mold moves into position. This process produces parts which have high quality requirements such as these domestic boilers with large internal cores, thin walls, and multiple deep fins, as well as these safety-critical automotive castings. Since each mold can have multiple impressions, production rates can be very impressive. Even single cavity parts can be made at greater than 450 molds per hour. Some of the castings made with this process are shown here, along with their production rates. Another use for the pump is in low-pressure, chemically bonded sand molds. A good example is the Cosworth process. In this application, the mold is loaded onto a turntable and then moved into casting position. It then moves into contact with the heated launder. Metal is pumped up through the riser portion of the mold, which is at the bottom during filling. When the mold is full, the mold, still in contact with the launder, is rolled over. Then the pump power is reduced to the bias level and the mold is withdrawn, allowing the next mold to index to the pouring station. 
Since the filled mold is now upside down, the metal in the riser is on the top and feeds the casting even though the mold is no longer connected to the pump. The casting produced in this case is an inline four-cylinder block with preheated iron liners cast in. The poured weight is greater than 90 pounds and this amount of metal is delivered in 21 seconds. The pump is also used in more conventional low-pressure casting processes, such as permanent mold and low-pressure chemically bonded sand, where the mold does not roll over, such as at BMW Powertrain in Birmingham, England, which is where these engine blocks and cylinder heads were produced. The pump is not limited to low pressure casting techniques, as can be seen here where the pump is used to gravity pour into horizontally parted green sand molds on a turntable. Shown is an 18.6 pound casting being poured. Pumping starts immediately after the carousel is locked into position, and after the end of the pour, about 9 seconds later, the pump control system permits carousel indexing. As soon as the next mold is loaded, the carousel indexes and the next mold is filled. For this casting, the total cycle time would be about 12 seconds per mold, so the production rate could be as high as 300 molds per hour. Some of the casting benefits include non-turbulent metal delivery, ensuring quality castings, increased productivity through optimized filling and immediate metal delivery. All metal in the system is filtered. Mold filling is accurately controlled and reproducible. The metal intake for the pump is well below the bath surface. Contact CMI Novacast Incorporated to discuss how your company can benefit from using these pumps.